the lakes don't give up their secrets easily. The water's cold. Oftentimes you can't see too much because it's still dark. It's 200 feet plus down there. And then all of a sudden the visibility opens and there's an intact schooner underneath you. She's over 150 years old. She's sailing along the bottom through the sands, still proud, still beautiful. This is one of the best shipwreck sites in the world. Shipwreck Alley is an area of northern Lake Huron where lots and lots of vessels converged over the course of about a century. And it's because of a high density of vessels. All of the ships going from one lake to another really had to pass by Thunder Bay. Many of them ran into each other. Others hit rocks, others foundered in storms. You know, one of the great things about the shipwrecks in Thunder Bay is you don't have to be a professional diver to visit them. Uh, there are shipwrecks at all different depths, whether you're a, a technical diver and dive to 300 feet, or whether you're just snorkeling. The sanctuary really encourages people to get out and explore Lake Huron itself. Uh, kayaking, the water is so clear in some spots that you can just kayak over these wrecks and see them. One of the ways that you can get out and explore the sanctuary is through the glass bottom boat, the Lady Michigan. Welcome aboard the Lady Michigan. Hello, and welcome to the Underwater Museum. See you, right? You ready for a boat ride? It's a 65 foot passenger vessel that takes people out and explores Thunder Bay, but has a window to the bottom of the lake where you can actually see these shipwrecks. We've got a custom built glass bottom boat that can take anyone to these magical sites. You don't even have to get your feet wet to visit a shipwreck site. And just north of the sanctuary is 40 mile point where you'll find along the beach the wreckage of the Joseph Bay, an over 200 foot long steamer that ran ashore at the turn of the 20th century. So of course you can go out into the lake and experience the shipwrecks. You can see the artifacts and the whole structure still there. Or, like in this room we're in now, you can see the artifacts here in dry land that we're able to share with you. Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary's Visitor Center is not your typical museum. It's very experiential. We love it when families come in because we do have some artifacts and historical items in cases, but most of the exhibit is really hands-on. You can sit in a lifeboat. You can take the wheel of a schooner. When you're on the Western Hope, which is a replica of a real-life canal schooner, the lightning is flashing, the waves are splashing, the wind is at your back, you're at the wheel, it's, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna make it into Thunder Bay? What was it like a hundred years ago to be sailing on a giant schooner on the Great Lakes? You know, at the visitor center, there's, there's something for everyone. Uh, so a family can come here and spend a couple hours. Uh, for kids, there's, there's tubes and slides and history specifically tailored for young people. But really, it's a place that introduces you to the idea of historic preservation, to history, to archaeology. One of our goals at the visitor center is really to encourage people to get out and explore the sanctuary. The sanctuary is a 450 square mile underwater park that protects the Great Lakes and its rich history. The Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary is a world-class collection of shipwrecks. This is a place to explore, to engage in history. This is Shipwreck Alley.